Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. It is Friday the 5th of June 2020 and this is episode 4 of Going Back to School with me, Dean Allmark. It's been about 4 months now since my last professional wrestling match and every week I'm going to be bringing you back here to the All-Star Wrestling School to document on how I'm coping without wrestling on a full-time basis like I've done for the last 20 years and show you how I'm trying to stay in ring shape and get in ring shape for my eventual return back to the wrestling ring. It's been a bit of a rough week for everybody this week, which I will touch on later on in the video. So now it's time to do a little bit of training and escape all the negativity in the world right now. But first, as always, you can't have a training session without drinking an energy drink. So this week I've actually started drinking this. It's, uh, it's rain. And I feel like it's a little bit better than Monster. Um, it is actually made by the makers of Monster, which you can still see there's like an N in the logo. Uh, but I feel like there's a bit more of a kick and it's got all this goodness in there too. Okay, back in the car now. And that was just what I needed after this week. Uh, 
like I said before, it's been a bit of a, a rough week for us all with all the goings on. Every time you turn on the news, there's more bad news about coronavirus. You've got the protests happening at the minute with all the riots and fighting. Um, you go on social media and all your friends are arguing with each other and everybody seems real angry and it, the world just seems like a real negative place right now. I always try and find the positive in every situation. Um, and hopefully after this week, racism will be a thing of the past. Uh, I still can't believe it exists in 2020. It's just absolutely mind blowing to me. I think two of the most important things wrestling has taught me is how to be a patient and positive person. Um, I don't think you could wrestle for so long without being those two things. If you think about it, like if you're wrestling 250 times a year, you're going to be booted against some fucking shit wrestlers. Uh, so you've got to be a positive person. You've got to go in there every match with the mindset that you're going to make this match the best that it can be. And even on the way to the show, like I've been in situations where you've been like an hour away and the show starts in like an hour, you know, uh, and you're stuck in traffic. So you've got to be positive that you're actually going to get to the show on time. A lot of a wrestler's life is spent patiently waiting you know if you think about it if you got like a seven hour drive to a show you do the show and then you got seven hours back that's like 14 hours in a car in 24 hours so it's it 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 is like most of the time it's like a a patiently waiting game when you go abroad you spend a lot of time in the airport and you gotta you gotta be there at least two hours before a flight and so you're flying somewhere to Japan, you, you fly somewhere which is like eight hours, then you have a layover, and then it's like another 10 hours to get to Japan. So it's, it really is like, it, it teaches you patience more than anything else, I think. It's pretty easy to be positive and patient when you're on the road with the boys, uh, when you're wrestling, when you go into the gym. But the situation that we're in right now in lockdown, those things have been taken away from us. And I think that's kind of getting everybody at boiling point at the minute. Every wrestler knows that when they go on the road, when they go in the ring, when they go to the gym, it's like a, an escape from the real world. And um, at the minute we don't have them things. I think about times when global events have happened, like 9-11. On the day of 9-11, I was traveling on my way to Croydon to do a show with Steve Strong and, and Marty Jones was actually in the back. And uh, we just spent all the time on the way there listening to the radio and listening to the events unfold. But when you get to the venue and you're with all your friends and you're with all the fellow wrestlers and and you you go in the ring, all, all these things are forgotten, you know? Um, well for me that's the way it is and the, there's no escapism right now no matter what bad things were happening in my life every time you go in the ring just everything else is forgotten and um that's one of the the big things i'm missing right now and this week with all the negativity happening it's just made me miss my friends more than i have done in this entire time um I just want to be around the boys, you know, I just want to be in the dressing room. I want to see my friends, like texting with my friends and and uh, and speaking to people on the phone just isn't the same as, as seeing them and being around them in real life and, and traveling up and down the country together. But like I said, you've got to be positive. It's a big part of being a wrestler and, and this is what we've got to do right now. We've got to get through this and we've got to get through this together. So uh, I'm going to carry on, carry on training, carry on making these videos. Um, I will be honest, they, they really help me, you know. It's it's like a little vent every once a week and, and I find that they're really helping with my confidence. And and uh, when I come here and, and do this video, it's, it's helping me take my mind off things. And while we're on the subject of positivity and positive thinking, I heard this week that Haven are opening their doors this month to the public. Uh, they're doing it without entertainment at the minute. Um, it's the beginning of June now, 
and our wrestling holiday camp season doesn't usually start till the end of July. So hopefully they're testing the waters um, and maybe, just maybe, we'll get some holiday camp wrestling this summer. And uh, I don't know if it comes across on the video or not, but um, on Monday this week, I decided to have a barbecue. We had the nice weather. Obviously it's back to raining now every day, but uh, we had like a streak of good weather and I was having barbecues every day pretty much. And on Monday, I went over to the barbecue. I thought I'll let it warm up for five minutes. Uh, turned all the burners on. And whenever I turned five minutes later, there was no flames. So I thought that's a bit weird. So um, I turned one of the burners off and then switched it back on and poof, a big fireball just engulfed me. Uh, I was topless at the time. It burnt all my chest hair off, all my stomach hair, and it singed my fringe, my eyebrows, and it took all the hairs off my chin, which uh, makes my beer game a little bit weak at the minute. So, uh, so yeah, if you're having barbecues, stay safe. They are dangerous. And that's it for this week's episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. I do feel a bit more confident now speaking in front of a camera. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of it. And I guess it's just like anything. The more you do it, the better you get. So uh, I've got a couple more speaking things coming up. I'm actually a guest today on the VIP Lounge podcast with Rhys Ryan uh, in about two hours time. So that should be out in the next couple of days. So make sure you give that a listen. And if you did enjoy the video, please smash that like button. And if you're feeling super generous, give it a cheeky share. See you all next week. Stay safe, guys.